The Itasca County Sheriff's race has been making headlines across the state after claims of misconduct from both candidates towards the other. Lakeland News reached out to both candidates, Brian Johnson and Vic Williams, who are running for uh, who is running for re-election uh, for an interview to discuss their platforms. Johnson declined the interview. His camp did, however, send us a letter addressed to the Grand Rapids Herald about a recent story they ran about Johnson's alleged misconduct while he was employed at the sheriff's office. In the letter, his attorney accuses the Herald of violating Minnesota law. It goes on to ask the paper how long Itasca County will put up with Sheriff Williams spending. Lakeland News did get a chance to speak with Williams, and he says if reelected, he wants to keep moving forward. The sheriff's office is doing so many great things that um, I want to just keep moving forward in a positive direction and impacting the communities. Um, a lot of the stuff we have done is uh, addressing some of the needs to pursue the drug problems that are in Itasca County. Um, we're working on ways through our correctional facility to try to address some of the mental health needs and I want to continue down that path. Williams also highlighted technology upgrades, the K-9 unit, the D.A.R.E. program, and RAP Recovery Center as highlights of his eight years as sheriff. We asked Williams about the turmoil facing the race. He says he wants to take the high road and not bash his opponent, and that he wants everyone to ask him personally about their concerns instead of going to social media. According to his website, Johnson says if elected sheriff, he'd like to stop excessive spending and hold the sheriff's office accountable. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.